Hello beautiful minds my name is Anil and welcome back to code step by step so this is part 3 for typescript tutorial and uh, in this uh, part we will learn that how we can setting up our editor so you can use any editor like uh, bracket sublime notepad plus plus but i will recommend you to use vs code because vs code and typescript both are developed by the microsoft and vs code will provide you suggestions whenever you will uh, start typing with the code so here you can see that whenever you will just write something like uh, CLA then it will provide you suggestions for code we can say that uh, code autocomplete also right so this is the one feature another another this is completely free of cost and it have uh, inbuilt command line tool also you can just go to the terminal new terminal and here you can write your uh, all commands which is supported by your OS and uh, again you can install the plugins also there is a lots of plugin here you can see that there is a complete list right so you can download it from uh, just official website which is totally free of cost just go to the code.visualstudio.com and just download it from here and this is available for windows mac and uh, ubuntu also even uh, other linux systems also so you can download it from here i am not going to download because i already downloaded it and installed it so this is very easy for install and download so i think there is a no need to just download and install it again so now let's talk about some important plugins so there is a lots of important plugins but i will just uh, uh, talk about the four important plugins first one uh, is spell check just you can type here spell check and you can uh, just install it i already installed it that's why it is this is just showing me uninstalled option so how it can help us so if i just simply put here blah blah here you can see that it just make a blue underline that and it will just tell us that there is a spelling problem because many developer make spell mistakes whenever they are writing codes in a one file they just make uh, some another name uh, due to the misspell or something uh, to the functions and in a, another uh, file they are calling with the different name uh, that function that's why there is some misconfusion but this is really good for the developers and you can just save yourself to misspells and another one is uh, you can use simply uh, pre-tier right so just simply put here pre-tier right this is again installed in my system i just again misspell it here right here and you can install it also so it will just help you to format your code if i just uh, write something code like this and you can just make it format again now you can see that this is make your uh, code formatted and beautify your code also all right so here you can see that you have a default formatter also right whenever you will just uh, format it first time after installing pre-tier then you will just get option like this so that time you can just select a pre-tier or you can just type a uh, typescript and javascript feature lang i will recommend you to use pre-tier because this is much better for uh, uh, beautify or you can say that uh, uh, pre-tier code right for format your code and uh, next thing is you can uh, use here eslint right so just go to there and just simply put here eslint guys you don't need to install TSLint because now TSLint and ESLint both are same so just install install TSLinting right and uh, it will help you out whenever you will just uh, make any syntax mistake or you just take uh, uh, something which is not recommended then uh, you are just using that thing and uh, it will help you out to with the recommended thing and make your code more cleaner and more professional right so for that you need to make some configurations but we will do it in the upcoming videos because in this video i am just going to tell about code editor and plugins and all right so here you can see that whenever i'm just running it it will just telling that no eslint configuration fo uh, found in here right so we will do it in the upcoming video and if you don't want to use it that's totally up to you it's not mandatory right and last one which is not impacting your code but this is really good uh, you can use uh, any icon plugin for your uh, file name here you can see that this is telling me that this is the javascript file this is the 
TypeScript file. So here just simply put here icon and you will find lots of plugins here. I am using material icon theme. You can also use it and it will tell that what is your, uh, it will just provide you a small logo in the front of your file name, right? Because uh, let's say uh, you are just, uh, you have lots of file and you just want to make any change in any, any file. By mistake, you directly open the JS file. But whenever you are working with the TypeScript, you should not work inside JS file. You have to work with only TS file. So that kind of time, this will really help. We're here we can just check that this is the uh, TS file and this is the JS file and all, right? So this is the uh, some important plugins and all. If you are working with the project, then you can also use here git lens. Git lens. Here you can see that. And uh, it, it can t just tell you who write this code uh, uh, whenever you are working with the git, right? So I cannot show you now because uh, 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 that time I'm just only working with the person so I cannot tell you the difference and all and uh, git is not uh, uh, configured with my this project also but in the upcoming time I will just definitely show you all these things right so thanks for watching this video in the upcoming video we will start with the uh, uh, typescript code also so bye bye take care